You know what time it is. We've got six things you should know, and we're kicking things off with a teenager who almost lost his life taking a selfie. In fact, his doctors say it probably should have hmm. taken his life. Now on the men from a frightening fall, he's thanking those who saved his life, and he has a warning for those seeking the perfect picture. NBC's Noel Walker has the details. If I see another person on I-30 about to go take a picture, I'll just stop on the side of my head. It's not a good idea. The quest for the perfect photo selfie ended here at the emergency room of Dallas Methodist Hospital, something Tristan Bailey never pictured. Definitely if I would have stopped and, you know, used my brain on that bridge, I wouldn't be here. We, I've seen people taking selfies while they were driving. Tristan and his doctor spoke to reporters today about the selfie. Well, I didn't get the photos. That could have killed him. He was the perfect specimen to survive that injury, but there's a lot of people that wouldn't have been able to. On November 12th, Tristan and his friends were driving over the Margaret McDermott Bridge on the way home from a Dallas Stars game. You see it all over the social media, like the pictures of the Dallas skyline and all of that, so we want to have our own. Tristan was trying to take a selfie with the Dallas skyline in the background, which you can't see because it's cloudy and rainy today. What he didn't know is the pedestrian walkway here on the Margaret McDermott Bridge isn't connected to the roadway. There's a gap and a 50-foot drop. And they said that they looked over and just like the movies, I'm just laid out there on the dirt. Tristan remembers none of it, just waking up to a broken pelvis, fractured ribs, and internal injuries. And him not being alone definitely played a role in saving his life. And I easily could have been gone. One more turn, one more twist. So it was just one more rotation. It's amazing that he didn't snap his neck. I would not be here. Thinking you're invincible is part of being 18 years old. They have this concept that it just won't happen to me. And so when one of their friends uh, experiences that and is brave enough and has the courage to step forward and tell his story, uh, it, it, it's a message that I hope will resonate with his peer group. A lesson learned the hard way. It's an amazing story of luck or hope or faith. I'm all for a good selfie, but definitely Wh be safe. Whoops, yeah. Be careful. No kidding, you gotta That watch. was pretty intense, a 50-foot drop. Yeah, that's crazy. And our number two today says you may be throwing out perfectly good food too early. So if you're just going by the date on the package, researchers surveyed more than a thousand adults about how frequently they throw out food based on the date listed. Yeah, nearly 40% said they always or usually discarded food if it was near the listed date, and more than half thought that the date was federally re regulated, but it isn't. Experts say if the label says best if used by, that just means the quality of the item may decrease, but is still okay to be consumed. I definitely thought that all the time and I would call my mom and be like, do you think this is okay? And she's yeah. like, that's not the actual date. You don't have, right. it's not like you have to throw it out by that Unless day. it's milk, like milk goes away. But you can smell it. Yeah, you can You know tell. what I'm saying? There's things that you can't really right. smell. And you eat them and you're sick. Usually if it's past that date with me, like. It's, like a month after? It's going away. It's going, <laughs> going away. And our number three today on our Thursday list has startling new statistics about young women and heart attacks. Yeah, and young people with heart attacks now make up one-third of hospital admittance. Meredith Wood has more on these findings in today's Health Minute. Between 1995 and 2014, there was a 10% increase in the number of women ages 35 to 54 admitted to the hospital for a heart attack. The number for men in the same age bracket increased by 3%. Researchers said one reason behind the sharp increase could be that young women are more likely to have health insurance than young men and more likely to seek medical treatment as a result. Each year, nearly 800,000 Americans have a heart attack, according to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. And over the past couple of decades, risk factors for heart disease like obesity and diabetes have been on the rise. You're starting to see the, the, the end consequences of these things, you know, significant heart disease, heart attacks in an increasingly younger population. No matter your age, it's important to understand and recognize the symptoms of a heart attack. When it comes to women specifically, a lot of times the symptoms they may have may be a little bit different than sort of the classic Hollywood heart attack where someone's clutching their chest. They may have symptoms of, of unusual nausea and vomiting that come out of nowhere, sweating. It could be back pain. For today's Health Minute, I'm Meredith Wood. That's a little scary, mm -hmm. especially for me. You're little, like, I'm good. A little concerning, yeah. Yes, definitely. Number four, Taco Bell is Taco, taco oh my God, I can't say taco. You taco would Bell? think that I would know how to say taco. Taco? 
Taco, Taco Bell's Bell. takeout is reaching new heights. The fast food chain is debuting the world's first slide through. That's what threw you off. The Taco Bell takeout. It's kind of a tongue twister maybe yes. a little bit there. Yes. And yeah. I know that I am Mexican. I should be able to say Taco <laughs> Bell. But this is not real Mexican food. Let's just put that out there. This is Tex-Mex. So I'm mm -hmm. still safe. I gotcha. Yes. Don't come after me. It's a takeout window and a mountaintop so you can munch on lunch while you shred the slopes. Customers simply place their order at the top of the hill, ski or tube down and then grab their meal after the ride. The brand is celebrating <laughs> the return of its Cheetos Crunch Wrap sliders with this special one day event, but you might have to travel north to try it out. The slide through will be up and running on March 2nd at a winter resort in Canada. That's exciting. That's out. I love skiing and I love tacos, so that's a great combo. Just check that out then. <laughs> I'm going to slide <laughs> through and to pair with some ski up, Taco Bell brings us our number five, which is good news for Breaking Bad fans. You might be seeing cans of Schrader Brow hit the shelf soon. According to the Blast Sony filed from a tr for a trademark to launch a line of their craft beer featured on the hit AMC television show. Yeah, actor Dean Norris even teased the real-life launch of his character's homebrewed beverage in an Instagram video you see right here. The new beer is reportedly part of a promotional stunt for a film ad adaptation of the series. The project is being shrouded in secrecy, but is rumored to come to Netflix soon. Are you a Breaking Bad fan? That is actually one of my favorite is shows it really? of all time. I tried and I watched, you know, a couple of a couple of episodes and then I got lost. You can get through it. Yeah, I could. You gotta try it again. I gotta try it again. Yes. Everyone raves, so maybe I'm, I might give it another shot. Yeah, you we'll should. See. <laughs> and a highway safety group has high praise for some car makers who are installing devices meant to protect not only drivers but most importantly pedestrians. NBC's Chris Clackham tells us more. Pedestrians struck on the nation's roadways is one of the most horrific of traffic accidents. And although the numbers dipped last year, pedestrian fatalities remain at an all-time high. The Insurance Institute for Highway Safety's latest results on vehicles with automatic braking, though, offer hope for reversal of that trend. These systems uh, are always attentive. They're always looking for obstacles ahead, including other vehicles or pedestrians. The Institute's David Ayler says nine of 11 small SUVs they tested earned an advanced or superior rating for pedestrian crash prevention. It will warn the driver uh, and then apply the brakes to either mitigate or avoid a crash with a pedestrian. Getting the highest rating of Superior because of their pedestrian detection systems are the new or late model Honda CRV, Subaru Forester, Toyota RAV4, and Volvo XC40. While the most recent Chevy Equinox, Hyundai Kona, Kia Sportage, Mazda CX-5, and Nissan Rogue earned an advanced rating. We'd like to see this technology on more vehicles and we'd like to see it as standard equipment. The Institute's already testing pedestrian detection systems in other type vehicles. Chris Clackham, NBC News. Interesting. So now Josh and I are wondering, does it work for animals? Does it work for deer? If you can't see it but it's coming in front of your car, will your car stop? You would think so, but maybe it's just programmed to see Humans? humans? Yeah. I don't know. That's scary. So many questions. So many questions we thing, need though. answered. If you know the answer, please let us know. And don't move a muscle when we return. We're telling you where to get the perfect gown for any event. Stay with us.